Features of small terrestrial mammals and how to ID them. 15 rodentia, 11 carnivora and 6 insectivora comprise Britain's smallest terrestrial flightless mammals. Amongst rodentia we have two squirrels, red and grey, two dormice, the hazel dormouse and the edible dormouse, which has a shaggy squirrel-like appearance and a detachable tail skin for escaping capture. And 11 Murio deer, mice, voles and rats. When surveying for squirrels, hair tubes are used. In woodland areas where cone-bearing, non-cone-bearing and fruiting trees are noted, tubes containing sticky tape are placed in rows. They are baited with maize, peanuts or sunflower seeds. Later, they're checked for hair or whether bait has been scooped out. Dormice can be surveyed by looking for signs amongst trees of the preferred food source hazel and sweet chestnut. There will be nuts with a distinctive hole, a smooth inner surface and chisel-like marks on the outer surface. They nest in trees several meters above the ground in balls woven from honeysuckle bark that are about 10 to 15 centimeters in diameter. Mice can be caught in aluminum longworth traps or cheaper plastic trip traps. They are distinguished by a tail longer than the rest of their body and big ears and big eyes. The wood mouse is brown with a white underbelly. The house mouse has a uniform brown color and musty odor. The yellow necked mouse has a yellow band around its neck. Traps are placed along the edge of a clearing against logs or in thick vegetation. Mice do not like to step up into objects, so the leading edge must be flush with ground level. The nest box must be angled so urine drains away to prevent death from hypothermia. Bedding food, water and extra insulation must be provided and the trap must be pre-baited for a few days for animals to get used to it. It must be checked at least every 12 hours to prevent starvation. There must be a shrew escape hole as shrews cannot be trapped without a license. Amongst carnivora we have one canid, the fox, one felid, the Scottish wildcat, and nine mustelids, weasels, stoats, pine martens, polecats, badgers and otters. Badgers can be surveyed from February to April and October. Look for feces, footprints, snuffle holes, hair traces, paths, sets and scratching posts. Sets are scored according to whether they are well used, partially used or disused. Badgers feast off the brains of their prey first. So a good identification of a kill is that the base of the cranium will be bitten through. In bait marking, food with coloured indigestible markers is placed outside the sets. Badgers use latrines to mark territorial boundaries, so these markers found in faeces marks which badger family lives where. Voles, rodentia, cannot be trapped without a license. Their survey methods are similar to the otters. They are surveyed visually from both sides of a riverbank and all habitat within 50 meters. Signs of otters include halts, nests indicated by a big hole in the riverbank, runways, paths across fields at bends in rivers, seals, paw prints left in the mud, slides, muddy slopes they slide down for fun, sprains, purplish black feces in elevated places like large stones and fallen trees. Water voles have brown fur with grey underparts and tails less than half the length of their body. Water vole signs include tracks, star-shaped footprints, five toes on the hind foot, four toes on the forefoot, latrines, shiny black droppings marking territories, lawns, closely cropped grass indicating grazing. The six insectivora comprise one hedgehog, one mole and four shrews that are distinguished by their red jawbone when found in the pellets of owls. I've stopped there because this question will only be 20 minutes long and I don't think we can possibly write more than that. Thank you.